गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स विशाखा सिटी सीईओ क्वेस्ट अलायंस जो पुनीत कुमार एमडी एक्सचेंजर इंडिया डिस्टिंग्विस डेलीगेट्स ऑफ दिस वर्क्स ऑफ सीनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफ इंडस्ट्री गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल्स एंड सिविल सोसाइटी आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू in this important workshop for you all together industry academia and policy makers in the government we were very few days back uh, i met the senior leadership of action chair they mentioned about this uh, initiative about this uh, future skills forum deliberation i am happy now there is a new mindset uh, coming up in the industry from csr to philanthropy and my belief it is not only philanthropic initiatives this is a pure business initiative because to be a productive economy to be a fruitful economy economy means creating wealth creating more profitability with the more responsibility unless until you have skill people you have capable people you cannot achieve that target in india when india is the fifth largest economy of the world today and looking into the aspirational aspect of the any civilization with full responsibility i can say the period akash mentioned in the next uh, 15 to 25 years when india will be completing its 100th year of independence from british rule i don't have any confusion any doubt where india will be india will be at the number one position of the in all aspect of global affairs by that time with our aspiration with our capacity with our talent with our intellect to see the two girls who came from kerala with small capacity building addition see their confidence see their glimpse in their eyes if they will get opportunity they can do anything in the any kind of job in their purview with india aspiration india's capacity those who are into the global business global economy they all are working in india for the two purpose one if you develop a product why do you market that why do you sell that you have to go to a high purchasing capacity joner society in the era of industrial revolution 4.0 lot of disruptive technologies are coming innovations are coming machine is taking place of man and man is riding over the machine and technology in all these areas skill and capacity is a very important aspect today in the age group of 15 to 25 when the working age group starts india's population is around 250 million more over around the population of united states of america if we are on another cohort the present working class of the society working community of the society working population of the india that is around 500 million with this disruptive technology disruptive innovation with the influence of internet digital models ai ml robotics 
These are no more things of elite and uh, things we cannot use. Every day we are influenced by all such things. If we can cite the example of mobile telephone 20 years ago, it was unimaginable for the common citizen of any country, they will have an instrument in their hand. Technology, costs, everything linked to that instrument. Today, I don't want to mention the numbers where mobile stands in India, country like India. If there are 100 rupees transaction in the digital mode in the world today, 40% are coming from India. See the performance of co-in app. See the use of drone in agricultural sector of our country. See the e-commerce platform in any during the pandemic period. When there was lockdown, I saw a model in the remote part of country. The young collector and its team created local e-commerce platform during the lockdown period. Because digital pathway is there in the remotest part of the country. I met a executive of a senior, senior executive of a reputed uh, IT company, he was going to my state, Odisha, up to Bhubaneswar with me in a, in a morning flight. I asked him, what are you, who are you, what are you doing there in Odisha? Where are you going? I thought, when he introduced himself, I thought he is going to Bhubaneswar. He might have some business in Bhubaneswar. No matter, I am going to the northern part of your state, a district Baleshwar, near to West Bengal border of West Bengal. Then I thought, you, do you have some business in Baleshwar? You are going to Baleshwar? No, no, sir, I am going to a small town in the border of Baleshwar and Odisha. Bengal, West Bengal and Odisha. I said, why you are going there? Because we have a call center there. And Arvind, why you are putting that call sent in a remote part of the state, far away from Bhubaneswar, far away from the district headquarter? He said, I have advantage in that point because due to language uh, fluency in the of the students of the youngsters, Uriya, Bengali, English and Hindi. The youngsters of that area know four languages. He was working for a telephone company. The backend call centers operates one of the, there might be hundreds of the call centers, one of the backend call centers operates from the remote part of the Odisha in the border area of West Bengal and Odisha. That means, why I cite this example, that means in the era of internet, era of technology, the entire world is a small village. In any part of the country you can work, any part of the globe you can work. Recently, American Asian Hotel Association people came to see us. What was their expectation? Sir, after pandemic there is a scarcity of skilled manpower in America. We want to cooperate with you, collaborate with you, with Ministry, Ministry of Skill Development. We need back-end operator of hotels in America with my, I asked him, do you have to send our boys to America? No, no, you have to send the boys to our boys and girls to America, but before that, the accountant, account, accounts department, the logistic department, lot of things in the hospitality industry can be operated from India through a call center. That means capacity, opportunity has no boundary. You can operate from everywhere. Now, there is 
concept of worthless is over through our laptop through our pads through our telephones we can we can work for three companies separately in the separate time zone you have to skill you have to competence in the language you have to proficiency in your domain knowledge then you can create your place in the job market with this background with the changing world with this background with the capacity there is a number of 2 250 million of youngsters school going college going iti going skill centers going or due to socio socio economical conditions lot of people has to go out of institutions they have to join workforce they have their own family compulsion to earn but they need to be of skill they need to they have their own aspiration how do you do that i think this future skills forum is a right platform for all these youngsters and i say recently i met a ceo of a american multinational company at the ceo level he is saying was i have to upgrade myself unless i upgrade myself i may lose some financial benefit six month left of his retirement six month before his retirement he is trying to upskill himself that means skilling is a lifelong process with this background with this kind of potential this kind of capacity this kind of facility those who are so sure, so i said this is no more a philanthropic thing this is a business thing if you invest in upgraded human capacity capacity building skilling of skilling the new skilling and with the new education policy we have facilitated lot of things multiple exit multiple entry you can work somewhere and earn somewhere work and earn and learn all the two things can be simultaneously the new credit national credit framework is now on rolling the iti pass boy with some little employability skill from this kind of forum will work in a departmental store he will earn credit iti means his 10th pass there is iti certificate with this kind of degree with employability skill from future skill alliance forum he will work in a for with this working experience with her working experience she or he will earn some credit with that much of degree and additional credit points if if she wants to join in degree she can join in degree she can go up to master also this opportunity is now available in the national education policies new approach more companies should take this responsibility to join this alliance i am happy this major company accenture morgan stanley and company like cisco are joining this uh, alliance and quest is coordinating all of them and today i am happy we are going to roll out a new curriculum digital curriculum for the students in india numbers are infinite there is no dearth of talented people and if you invest in human resource your profitability will increase your business stability will be there certainty will be, what are the need in the business stability certainty clarity of the policy and with india's new leadership regional leadership of prime minister modi the entire world in the post covid period enter world is looking towards india how do we manage ourselves how do we thriving our economy just imagine we are recouping lot many developed economy are now fumbling in their economic management but india 
It is not only recouping, not only moving ahead, it is thriving. In this period, we surpass the UK and come to the number fifth position. Our growth rate is stable. No have this kind of 6% plus growth rate is seen in the present day economy. There is a challenging geopolitical scenario in the world today. The post-COVID financial management is affecting job market. With this scenario, let us come together, let us think big, let us think for the global civilization and when I am passionate on national education policy of India and I always say this is not a brochure, this is not a bunch of document of 60-70 page, this is a philosophical document for entire human civilization. Because today India is on the driving seat. India's knowledge, India's capacity is not only for our citizens. This knowledge, this civilizational capacity is for global well-being. We will contribute sustainable development goal of entire world. Our skilling capacity will contribute global workforce. Global productivity will link to India's uh, skill capacity. Now all the state governments and union government and all the departments are focusing their capacity building cohort in a scientific manner. And what will happen in India in next few years? All the six lakhs villages, 600,000 villages will be connected with optical fiber. We have already rolled out 4G in the lot, almost entire part of the India. And we have started rolling out 5G. And we are announcing about our intention of 6G rollout. With this kind of digital background, and company like Accenture will be a win win situation for all of us. I wish success of this uh, curriculum. Government of India, especially Minister of Skill Development and its uh, regulatory body, NCBT and DGT, both of them will be actively and NCDC, NSDC will participate in your initiative. Not only Ministry of Skill Development, this kind of capacity building is needed in diploma for diploma students, for engineering students. You just see the Indian companies. Uh, IT capacity, AICT affiliated college are producing quality engineering students. They all will be ambit of your alliance. I wish all success of this initiative. Thank you for inviting me.